guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is YouTube user Matthew Gutierrez here coming to you with another hotel room tour. This time we are at the Link Hotel and Casino in fabulous Las Vegas, Nevada in room 18048 in the District 1 Tower in a one queen accommodation. Here's the room key, one of the cool designs they have. And yes, it's called the Hotel and Experience, but it's also listed as Hotel and Casino. All right, let's take a look, guys. All right, as we get started, we're gonna start off by checking this room out in the security department. We got a very clearly readable fire map. So to kind of explain this property, this is gonna be District 1 tower right here. And this is District 2. District 3 is gonna be further off to your left near the parking garage. So as you can see, we also have a peephole. Got a standard latch lock and we have a privacy switch put it down and just disables the uh, reader on the outside the uh, privacy signs on the outside of this door right now so that way we can film the video and not be interrupted as you also see when you enter this room you got some really cool looking artwork no idea what that is but pretty cool in my opinion then we also have to your right the bathroom and the door for the bathroom is pretty cool you have a mirror right here and this actually is a barn door i really like these this is cool so you can close it then you got a mirror right here what's up guys long time no see and you just slide it open all right guys let's take a quick look i'll use the wide lens right here so we can take a look at the restroom more easily so as you guys can see here, you have another great mirror. You have a makeup mirror here in the corner. It pulls out all the way so you can get it closer. You also have a magnification mirror and a regular mirror. Pretty cool. Just get this thing back on the wall. And right down here you have a lotion and hand wash soap dispenser got tissues, got your ice bucket, got your sink, stopper that actually works, got a hair dryer, got washcloths, hand towels, an extra towel down there, trash can, toilet paper, extra toilet paper roll, and then you got two towels here on the rack. And right here you got the toilet. As you guys could tell, the toilets are very clean here. Housekeeping does a very good job keeping them in good order. Demonstrate it. Very good pressure. And as we step into the shower here, you have more dispensers. You got your shampoo, you got your conditioner, you got your body wash. They refill these pretty regularly during your stay. So if you run out, just let housekeeping know and they'll take care of it. Got yourself a very, very clean shower head. Pretty clean. And you got your thing. I would turn this on, but I don't want to get sprayed. You got a little space there for your body soap if you bring some with you or wherever else you need to store in the shower. And you got this curtain. Covers pretty good. Put it back over here. And down here you have a uh, bath mat, kind of just pretty much a towel texture. So yeah, the bathroom is pretty well taken care of. It's really nice and really clean. Give them a thumbs up. And as we enter the room, folks, we got right here a very nice lighting fixture. And we got a really nice thermostat. And I'll be honest with you, this thermostat has kept this room pretty cool. And you got constant fan, which works, kind of helps with a little white noise. You got fan speed and you got mode. I keep it on 60 because I like to keep the room cool. And across from that, you got your connecting room door to the next room. If you had somebody next door, you could join rooms together. Got a desk. And you've got the TV remote, which I put over here. And you got my wallet, my keys my Las Vegas Knights hat, some water cups, 
and I guess we can show you guys the drawer. Got some stuff in there. Got my charger, sanitary bag, and that's what you get there. And then we're gonna go over here to this side of the room. You can see uh, my grip. I've been shopping a lot. I got another suitcase over there. You see in a minute, just stuffed with souvenirs. So instead of a closet door, you got curtain. I got my Hash House Go Go hat, laptop bag, a pair of shorts for tomorrow since I'm leaving to go back home to New Mexico. Got plenty of hangers. Nice, decent shape. Of course, again, that ironing board and iron. You get drawers. You get plenty of drawer space to put out your stuff. And then you get a safe. Now I'm gonna go and open it. Let me just put my code in. I'll change it so you guys can see it work. All right. And then you got right here, I'm gonna take it out. Got my MacBook Air, not a MacBook crack book, but a MacBook Air. Got my car keys in there and a few other things. So I'll show you guys how the safe works here. Press clear. Enter your code and press lock. And to open, you just type in your code again. Thing will open real quickly. Yeah, everything here in this hotel room is really clean and really well maintained. And let me just resecure the safe with my stuff in it with my combination. And you also got a mini fridge down here. I got to empty this out later. And got some storage space for grip if it fits in there. Mine's, as you can tell, ginormous. It doesn't exactly fit. And on this bedside table, we got a lamp. These ports on the top don't work. I've called engineering and fortunately they said there's nothing they could do about it because uh, they're out of lamps to replace it with. We got our hotel telephone here. And I like this phone, guys. What's cool about this phone is the ringer's not too loud. It's pretty mild. And you got a wireless handset. Let's see. Let's see if this works. Yep. Very cool. Here's your hotel phone options. Let me kill one of the lights so you can see it. You got all you need. You got guest services, concierge, room service, wake up requests, bell desk, restaurant reservations, box office, spa, housekeeping, and emergency. One thing you're going to notice, this is the front desk. Watch this. So you can't necessarily get through the front desk doesn't actually answer anymore it goes to the call center for caesars and then they transfer you to a hotel operator or someone on property if you only need to talk to someone then you got yourself a drawer no good book no phone book and then over here we got a huge plasma flat screen tv I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to try to kill the volume immediately so we don't get a copyright claim. LG Life's good. I'm going to try to mute it. There it goes. Mute. So we don't get a copyright claim for sound. So you guys can tell today is Sunday, May 19th. It's 1.57 p.m. and it's about 89 degrees here in Vegas. A little bit humid. Not too crazy. This TV's got not the best channel selection choice, if you ask me, because it doesn't have what I'm accustomed to from New Mexico, but it does, it fits the bill. And then we'll go ahead and press menu. So you guys can see the internal menu of the TV. Right there, you can see my lucky poker chip. 
and then right here you got the TV. So see there's my name. And they don't do traditional room service anymore here at Caesars. You have to text this code and they do something called Caesars Eats. Kind of like Uber Eats. They just charge you like I believe 13 bucks is the fee if they bring it to your room. Three bucks if you go pick it up. I know, kind of weird. Anyways, so you got that. You got guest services. The room service button on the TV does not work. Kind of wish it did. Uh, adult zone, live TV, kid friendly, a hotel directory. They have everything. They got blankets here. They got extra pillows, dental kit if you need it. Cool stuff there. And I'll kind of scroll and let you guys kind of see what other options are available with the TV. Let's go check out guest services. And I'll let you guys see what I'm paying for this room. Give it a minute. Sometimes the TV is just a little slow uh, when you push it. The remote's been kind of weird lately, but the batteries are fine because they changed them. There it goes. So right now, because checkout's still happening, it's uh, not necessarily check-in time yet. You can press select to check out if you were checking out. Checkout time's 11 a.m. There's my room charges for the week. Um, it's about 700 bucks for this stay currently. So I paid a little bit of it the other day. Uh, resort fee is about 45.30. That's what it currently is at the time of this video. It may change, but it's not bad. Let me go back. And then you got this cool feature here on the TV called Guest Request. Here at the Link Hotel and Experience, or Link Hotel and Casino, same thing, you have this Guest Request feature, and you can request certain stuff from the uh, front desk, housekeeping, you can get toilet paper, tissues, bath towels, you name it, pretty much you got it. We're gonna check out Front Services. And, Front services kind of gives you some access to some of the bell services. Come on. There it goes. Uh, luggage pickup and luggage pickup and storage, which calls the bell dean or the bellman. You have first aid. So you can order some first aid stuff, contact solution, eye drops, a nail clipper keychain if you need one. Um, then you got board games. This is kind of cool. So if you travel with a family, you got friends with you, you can have them, you can borrow Twister, Cards Against Humanity, Shoots and Ladders, Simon or Jenga. If you don't return it to them, it's 50 bucks. They charge you for the board game. Pretty cool. And I've used this feature before, not for the board games per se, but uh, it's pretty nice. You got TV wake up because the TV will actually be your alarm clock because as you guys can tell, there is no alarm clock in here. So there's that, shows you the weather if you want it. And as it says right there, you can press one to connect to a different device. This thing's actually paired currently to your my phone. My phone has a mobile app that I can control the TV with. Uh, it disconnects at checkout by the way. So that's pretty cool. And again, there we are. Link Hotel and Experience. Welcome, Matthew Rudess. There we go. All right, guys, we're moving on to the next part of the room. You get my wide lens on again. You got over here, got a sitting chair. Very nice condition. It's very well kept, in my opinion. No ding scratches, just general wear and tear. Got a couple magazines they give you to read if you'd like. You can take them with you. Uh, you got information on their commitment to the environment, the clean air violation information, late checkout, and again, room service from Caesars. Pretty cool. And right behind it, you got a nice little lamp, which is controlled by a foot switch. Perfect if you want to sit over here and read a book at night, or just chill and look out the window at your view. Again, guys, we are on the 18th floor of the District 1 tower, and you kind of overlook the Harrah's Pool. We stayed there last year. It was pretty great in my opinion. And as you can see straight ahead, yes, it did rain a little bit, so windows are kind of a little bit dirty. You got over there, 
You got the Venetian. You just get to focus. There it goes. The Venetian, Treasure Island, Resorts World. The Palazzo is just next door to the Venetian. Not too bad. And then as you guys can see, we're again right next door to... I'll zoom in on it for you. Hera's. And as you can see right over there is the Mirage. It's no longer the Mirage anymore. They're just, they just have a name contract to transition everything over from MGM. It's now the Hard Rock Las Vegas. Pretty cool. As you guys can tell, there's their uh, Raleigh HVAC enthusiasts and stuff. There's their HVAC units for the Hera's. Room and everything's cool. Let's see how much I can zoom in. That's pretty cool. Nice tint on the windows. I like that. All right, moving on. Got ourselves a privacy screen if you want that. Still see out. Nobody can really see in. And you got blackout. Really works, guys. I've slept in here for six nights already. Five nights, six nights, and this has been good. It's kept the room very dark, which helps sleeping. All right, guys, back to that wide lens we're talking about. I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the lamp over here so we can see. Here's our PTAC unit. Uh, it's controlled by the thermostat on the wall, or you can use the controls over here. So you have kind of a two ways of controlling it. Let's see if I can pull the filters. Very clean. There's two of them. Nice and clean, like that. No dust, that's perfect. Then you got a big mirror. What's up guys? And then you got another side table with another lamp. This one, the plugs work on it. As you can tell, I got my Apple Watch Series 8 charging right now in the room. Got some, got a paper bag here and some trash from a item I was peeling the tag off of that I purchased. No good book, no phone book in the rooms anymore, unfortunately. And right here, you got the bed. White bed sheets, I've pulled the sheets back and they actually have brand new mattresses in these rooms, so they're very comfortable. Let's take a quick look and see how comfortable the bed is. Soft, it's plush, slept on it for, like I said, pretty much all week, guys, and it's great. And you can, you get a total of four pillows initially when you start checking into the rooms, but you can get as much as you like. I usually sleep with six. Yeah, I like to stay comfortably. And then behind your bed, you got this, you got some cool wall art. It says jackpot. I like that, that's really cool. And you can't really get under the bed because it's got a hard wood board under it. And there's that. So this room, guys, is pretty nice. I've paid about, total is gonna be about around 700 bucks for six nights, seven days. I did book a year ahead during the annual Caesars anniversary sale. So as I do every year, and that's how I can afford these trips. So travel tip, book early. If you can't, it, it'll still be there, but it's expensive. All right, guys, so this is the room here. Take one last walk through, let you take a look at it. Again, very clean floors. They vacuum every day. Linens are changed daily. Got the bathroom. I have to say, guys, I got myself a pretty good deal. I'm gonna take a steel photo real quick. All right. All right, guys, so thanks again for coming with me on another hotel room tour. Again, this has been the Link Hotel and Casino in fabulous Las Vegas, Nevada, room 18048, District 1 Tower, 1 Queen Room. I'll be putting the hotel's information down in the description of this video, as well as a link of where to book a room here if you'd like to come stay here. And I say, guys, I give these guys a 10 out of 10. I give them two thumbs up. I'd give them two in the camera, but I'm holding the phone with the other one. So don't want to drop my phone. So guys, everybody have a blessed day. I'll see you guys next video, wherever the wind takes me. Catch you guys next time. Peace out. God bless. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe.